ओम शांति बाबा साकार मुदली नवंबर सिक्स ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री बाप दादा मधुबन वर्जन ऑफ श्री बाबा एसेंस ऑफ द मुर्मी स्वीट चिल्ड्रन योर सेफ्टी लाइज इन बिकमिंग सोल कॉन्शियस सो ब्राह्मण सेफ्टी इन बिकमिंग द सोल कॉन्शियस रिमेन बिजी डूइंग स्पिरिचुअल सर्विस अकॉर्डिंग टू श्रीमत सर्विस शुड बी डन एज पर द श्रीमत ऑफ बाबा एंड देन नो enemy no form of body consciousness will attack you if we are keeping ourselves busy in service automatically remembrance will be there and so no form of body consciousness no enemy that is no maya will attack question what indicates you having a burden of sin on your head <clears throat> what methods are there for making that burden light answer while there are burdens of sinful actions you cannot imbibe this knowledge such actions have been performed that they repeatedly create obstacles they don't allow you to progress because of obstacles progress will not be there and why you can say burden is there but specifically when sinful actions are there so we cannot imbibe this knowledge in order to lighten those burdens <clears throat> become conquerors of sleep so if you wanted to remove that burden of sinful actions we have to remember baba specifically at amar bela right stay awake at night and remember baba and your burden will become light because at night generally no can say work so we can remember very easily baba that's the reason baba says remembrance is the only panacea for removing the burden of sinful actions no other way song mother o oh mother you are the best of our fortune from the world om shanti <clears throat> this is the praise of jagdamba mother o oh mother because this is a new creation there cannot be completely new creation the old one becomes new god is creator so people believe that there will be annihilation that is complete destruction and then establishment will take place baba says no it's not like that not a complete destruction or annihilation but you you can say transformation of the world from old to new <clears throat> you have to go from the land of death to the land of immortality this is a question of life and death you either have to die in the land of death and become completely dead or die alive and go to the land of immortality the mother of the world means the one who creates the world it is definite that the father is creator of heaven and that he creates creation through brahma the father says i establish that sun and moon dynastic kingdoms i have to come at the confluence age he says i come at the confluence age of the cycle i come at every confluence of the cycles mm. <clears throat> this is a very clear explanation it is just that people have made a mistake and changed the name when people speak of the omnipresence you should ask them who said this when did he say it where is this reader acha who is the god of geeta why say who says this now was asked the questions <clears throat> when people speak of omnipresence then ask the questions who said this that god is omnipresence when did he say it when god said this where is this reader three questions and fourth acha who is the god of geeta who said this sri krishna he is bodily being he cannot be omnipresent if sri krishna name is changed everything falls on the father 
the father has to give you the inheritance he says i teach you raj yoga why in order to give you the sun and moon dynasty inheritance otherwise who gave him the inheritance for 21 births it is also written what is written that brahmins were created through the mouth of brahma he sits and speaks the knowledge of the beginning middle and end of the world to brahmins only to the brahmins therefore the one who gives this knowledge would also surely have this pictures made in order to explain the knowledge if he has given the knowledge he must have given a vision he must have created a picture to explain the knowledge in fact there is no question of studying them but these pictures have been made so that it can easy to explain it can be easy to explain why pictures has been made because one picture represent thousands of words so we don't have to explain more that's the reason why pictures were created a lot can be achieved with this so there is praise of jagdamba it is also said shiv shaktis from whom do you receive power from the world almighty father you also have to write the words world almighty authority in his praise in his praise without writing the world almighty authority people how should believe that he is the god so we have to write this word authority means that he has all the knowledge of all the scriptures etc authority doesn't mean that whatever he wanted to do he can do baba say he is also bound by the drama so authority means knowledge of all the scriptures all the world past present future everything that is the true knowledge he knows everything <clears throat> he knows everything he has the authority to explain it nobody has a authority to explain authority because he is the authority of the knowledge they saw the scriptures in the hands of brahma and they also say the secrets of the vedas and the scriptures are spoken through the lotus mouth of brahma so he is the authority he is he not he explains to you children the secrets of all vedas and scriptures so brahma dwara sthapana means brahma establishment through brahma and that is the knowledge that is the knowledge spoken through the lotus mouth of brahma the world doesn't know what the religious religious scriptures are it is said that there are four religions in the world physical religion in those there is one main religion that is the foundation and the foundation is god that is the deity or angelic religion the example of the banyan tree is given its foundation has decayed but its branches and twigs exist that is just an example example of human genealogical tree that is compared with the banyan tree there are many trees in the world there will be the trees in the golden age too physical trees will be there even in the golden age all the age you were you there won't be sorry yes there won't be jungles there but there will be gardens this is the difference there will be forest for useful things too forest will be there for useful things wood etc will be needed many animals and birds live in the forest <clears throat> however everything there would be very good and beautiful because it is the age of the golden age pure age golden age and world birds and animals will also be the beauty there there won't be anything there that would make things dirty everything should be clean clear crystal clear no dirty no dirty the beauty of birds and animals is also needed that world itself is sato pradhan and so everything there is also sato pradhan what else would you expect in paradise the first and foremost things is that you have to claim your inheritance from the father 
pictures continue to be made and you have to write on them establishment through brahma sustenance through vishnu blah 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 people don't understand these words and this is why there is the dual form of vishnu lakshmi and narayan angelic form actually no person or nobody has a four hands so lakshmi and narayan both who sustain everything there yesterday baba told me that he has to take support of children without children he can't do anything because he has no body he can create he can establish he can disturb but what about the sustenance so children he is must so baba says <coughs> who sustain everything there that is vishnu dual form of lakshmi and narayan they understand this only a handful out of multi millions will understand everybody will not then it is also written there are their status sorry there are those who are amazed by this knowledge when they listen to it they relate it to others and then they claim their status number wise according to the efforts they make without effort no fruits no results so baba says make efforts of remembrance to get everything have a soul consciousness these things are written somewhere or other but not in a connected way not related to each other the words god speaks are also right if the biography of a god is spoiled all the scriptures become false it is seen that day by day the father continues to give you very good points first of all you have to make them as the faith that god is ocean of knowledge the seed of the human world tree what a knowledge would the living seed have it would surely be of the tree the father comes and explain the knowledge through brahma the name brahma kumar sen kumar is is good there are many kumars and kumaris of prajapita brahma there is no question of blind faith in this this is the creation everyone says what says baba mama or you are the mother and father everybody is telling in their own religion also jagdamba saraswati who is the daughter of brahma she is a bk in a practical way a new world was created through brahma a cycle a go to therefore it would surely be created through brahma now to only the father explain the secrets of the beginning the middle and the end of the world this is why he is called knowledge pool the seed would definitely have knowledge of the world tree sorry world tree whole tree that is world tree that is genealogical tree not the physical tree his creation he is the living human world the father teaches you raj yoga the supreme father the supreme soul sits here and teaches you brahmins through brahma you brahmins will then become deities <clears throat> you all enjoy this a great deal at the time of listening to him but because of body consciousness not all of you are able to imbibe it why we are not able to imbibe the knowledge because of body consciousness as soon as you live here everything finishes now if somebody comes to madhuga or you can just send them and they are coming to home now as everything finishes because body consciousness not all of you are able to imbibe it even for imbibing the knowledge practices at most necessary and it is a continuous effort required as soon as you live here everything finishes there are many types of body consciousness not only one baba say royal form of maya name fame credit everything a lot of effort is needed in this the father says become conquerors of sleep renounce body consciousness become soul conscious stay awake at night and remember the father because each of you has a great burden of the sins of many births on your head and it doesn't allow you to imbibe knowledge you have performed such action that you don't become soul conscious you tell a lot of lies you write chart of big lies and send it to baba 
What is that lies? I stay in remembrance seventy five percent of the time. So I was say, write down the chart with true heart. However, Baba says that is impossible. Why? Baba give example. The one that is Dada who is ahead of everyone else says no matter how much I try to stay in remembrance, Maya makes me forget. Everybody's experience, all you can say, Baba, children, including ourselves, we have also experienced Maya makes us perfect. You should write an, an honest chart. Baba himself tells his own experience, and so you children should follow him. <clears throat> Some don't follow him, and so they don't even send their charts. You have been given time to make effort. To imbibe this knowledge is not like going to your auntie's home. Baba said it's not easy thing. We have to make effort. You mustn't get tired in this. Some take time to understand. If not today, tomorrow they will understand. Baba has already said that those who belong to the deity religion and have been converted to other religions will come here. One day, there will also be a conference of those from Africa. And now, so many centers in Africa. Baba Chai, particularly now Nizarba, so many. They will continue to come to the land of Bharat. Previously, they never used to come here. Now, all the eminent people continue to come. The prince of Germany never used to go outside. The king of Nepal had never seen a railway. He didn't have permission to go outside his own boundary. Even the Pope himself never went out anywhere. But then he came here in those days. First time 64 or 65 Pope has came to India. Everyone will come because this Bharat is the biggest pilgrimage place for those of all religion. This is why. This will be advertised very powerfully. You have to tell this to those of all religions and invite them here. Only those of the deity religion who has, have been converted will take this knowledge. Understanding is required for this. If someone understands, he will definitely blow the concept. Why understanding is required? To spread Baba's knowledge to be an instrument for Baba. <clears throat> we are Brahmins and we have to relate the Gita alone. It is very easy. The unlimited father is the creator of heaven. It is our right to claim our inheritance from him. Everyone has a right to go to their parents' home, the land of liberation. They all have a right to liberation and liberation in life. Everyone is to receive liberation in life. You become free from bondages in life and go into peace. Then when you come down here, you are liberated in life. However, not everyone receives liberation in life in the golden age. It is the deities who have liberation in life in the golden age. Those who come later experience less happiness and less sorrow. This is the account. Bharat alone, which was the highest, has become the most poverty striker. The father himself says, this deity religion is one that gives a lot of happiness. This drama is predestined. All come and play their own parts at their own time. So everybody's part is fixed. Everybody's time is fixed. Only heavenly God, the father, establishes heaven. No one else can do this. Nobody has a power, authority, strength to establish heaven. Only except the Supreme God Father. They say that 3000 years before Christ, there truly was heaven and there was the new world. <clears throat> it means Christ would not come there because before him, heaven was there. So Christ cannot come in the heaven. He comes at his own time. That is just before 2000 years. Out of the cycle, almost you can say two-third part is gone. Three thousand is gone, only two thousand is left. 
he has to repeat his part again. Everybody has to repeat their own part again and again because it is a cycle. So Baba says, only when all of this sits in your intellects will you follow Srimad. When somebody will follow Srimad, when the knowledge sits in their intellect, then it will take time. It is not easy things. Then and then we can follow Srimad. <clears throat> not everyone's intellect is same. Courage is needed to follow Srimad. Courage is required. Without courage, nobody can follow Srimad. Then Shri Baba, whatever you feed me, whatever you give me to wear, etc., etc., it would be through Brahma and Jagdamba, those who are surrendered, particularly center and Madhuban, those who are living in household, but they are surrendered with their mind and intellect. Their sustenance will be through Baba. Everything would be done through Brahma, would it not? And so both Shiva and Brahma are combined. We say Bab Dada, ne? this Murli is Sakar Murlis, but when ba Dada left the body, we say Bab Dada combined. He carries out his task through Brahma alone. There are not two bodies together, not two bodies, two souls are together. Baba has seen some with combined bodies, that is, semen strings <coughs> attached. Baba Middada. The souls of the two are separate in the same body. Baba entered this one. He is knowledgeful. So Baba is given, Baba knows everything. Even two bodies are joined together and they are taking a birth. So through whom would he give knowledge? The image of Sri Krishna is separate. Brahma is needed here. There are so many Brahma Kumars and Kumars. This is not a blind faith. God is teaching you adopted children. Those who were adopted in the previous cycle are the ones who are adopted now. No one would say in the offices on side, uh, sorry, offices outside that they are BKs because they, nobody knows. They, they know what about Brahmas. Inside we say, BKs. Isn't it? Because we know, but outside the world they don't know. So outside nobody will say BKs. This is incognito. Baba is establishing a religion, everything incognito. You are the children of Sri Baba anyway. Everybody is children of Sri Baba. However, creation has to be created for a new world. He makes the old one new. When a soul has alloy mixed in him, he becomes old. When gold has already mixed in it, it becomes false. When souls become false, even the bodies become false. I will give example of the gold to compare with, you can say, our stage, stage of the souls. So as the soul, so the body. <clears throat> as the gold, so the jewelry. So how can they become real again? Impure things are heated on a fire to purify them. Gold is heated on fire. Why? To purify gold. So such a huge destruction is to take place. All of those festivals, etc., are Bharats, all festival of Bharat only. No one knows whose they are or since when they have been celebrated. Even Bharat was, we don't know. In devotion, we don't know. Very few people are able to take this knowledge. Perhaps they receive kingdom at the end, but what is the benefit of that? <clears throat> that is very little happiness, is it not? Suppose somebody is coming later in the drama, all other religions, so their happiness will be little, their pain will or sorrow will also be little, say they don't know. Sorrow begins gradually. This is why you have to make effort very well. So many new children have become very clever. The older ones don't pay much attention. They have a lot of body consciousness. So older students should be very, very careful about this. Only those who do service are able to climb into Baba's heart. It is said, what is said? Inside they are one thing and outside something else. Baba gives a lot of love from within to good children. Some are good externally, but internally, they are bad. Some don't do any service. They don't become sticks for the blind. Now it is a question of life and death. 
you have to claim a high status in the land of immortality. You can recognize the ones who were effort in the previous cycle and claimed a high status. All of that is visible. The more soul conscious you become, the more you will be able to live in safety. Body consciousness defeats you. The father says, the more spiritual service you are able to do, according to Srimad, the better it is. Baba explains to everyone. It is very easy to explain using these pictures. All of you are Brahma Kumars and Kumaris. That Siv Baba is the senior Baba and he creates the new one. It is sung. What is sung? It didn't take God long to change human beings into deities. Even those this, of the Sikh religion praise the God. As the religion is the new, the latest one religion is the Sikh religion. So there will be proper introduction of God in the beginning in any religion. Then day by day, it becomes, you can say, mixed up. So Baba says, the words of the Guru Nanak used are very good. Why? Because let us religion. Remember the name of the Lord and you will receive happiness. This is the essence. What is the essence? If you remember the true Lord, you will receive happiness. That is, you will receive the inheritance. Happiness doesn't mean anything else. Inheritance of God. They believe in the one incorporeal world. They say, ek omkar, ek omkar. Death cannot come to souls. Souls become dirty, but they are not destroyed. Soul cannot be destroyed. This is why it is called an immortal image. The father explains, I am the immortal image and so souls are also immortal, but they do enter rebirth. I am constantly the same. He tells you very clearly, I am the ocean of knowledge, Rup and also Basant. Rup means consciousness, self consciousness. Basant means ocean of knowledge. You have to understand these things and then explain them. Explain to others. You have to become sticks for the blinds and give the donation of life. Sticks for blind means we have to show the path. Then there will never be untimely death. You have victory over death. Achha? To the sweetest, beloved, long lost and now found children, love, remembrance and good morning from the mother, the father, Bab Dada. The spiritual father says Namaste to the spiritual children and spiritual children's love, remembrance, good morning and say Namaste to the spiritual father. Meethe, meethe, sikalade, bacho, pradi, maat, pita, baap, dada ka, yad, piyar, or good morning. Rohani, baap ki, rohani, bacho ko, namaste. Ham rohani, bacho ki, rohani, maat, pita, baap, dada ko, yad, piyar, good morning, or namaste, shukriya, baba, shukriya. <coughs> Essence for dharma. Number one, do spiritual service according to Srimad. Become a stick for the blind. Definitely blow the conscious self. So Baba says service, service and service. Baba also indicated in the Murli very well that without service, no remembrance. Point number two, in order to become the soul conscious, keep a chart of remembrance. Especially stay awake at night, that is Amrit Bela, and stay in remembrance. Don't get tired of having remembrance. Today's blessing. May you be master almighty authority. And who is the almighty authority? Who constantly maintains your elevated pride, pride sorry, pride, that is self-respect, and finish all types of distress. So Baba explains, constantly keep this blessing in your awareness. What is the blessing? I am a master almighty authority who constantly maintains my elevated pride and also have finished and also finishes any distress of others. I am not weak. I am seated on the throne of elevated honor, that is Saman. Those who are seated on the immortal throne, on the Father's heart throne, and maintain their elevated pride cannot be distressed even in their dreams. Forget about the situation of this world, even in dreams. 
not even thoughts, even in dreams. No matter how much distress anyone causes, they maintain their elevated path. Slogan, constantly keep your self-respect and you will continue to receive respect from others. Baba say, don't expect for respect, regard, name and fame. That is a royal form of Maya. And after be becoming Brahmins, this is the greatest challenge for the Brahmin. So Baba says, constantly keep your self-respect and then and then you will receive the respect of everyone. Acha Om Shanti.